Hello everyone, I hope you're doing fine. My name is Skyline and welcome to a video about Doomfist, the hero, the Overwatch hero that has been so, so long awaited by the community. Almost as long awaited as the next Skyline video. Uh, almost. I've been perusing YouTube lately for some uh, info on Doomfist, some people who maybe have already explained it all, explained the combos, explained the strategies, and nothing's just quite tickling my fancy the way I like it, so I figured I would just make it myself, as is usually the case for YouTube videos that I make here about Overwatch. Uh, but before I get into the deeper stuff, you know, where will he fit into the metagame, how will the pros use him, how will the people who think that they're pros use him, how will the pro players say the pro players will use them, uh, all of these are different obviously, but for now, that's all a little bit uh, taking a couple steps too far forward. We don't need to worry about that. I'll go over that in the near future, but for now we just need to go over mechanics. Repetition comes before understanding. As is for every hero, you have to practice the mechanics and the basic, you know, the basic muscle memory involved in a hero before you can even think to play them regardless. It doesn't matter how well you know Genji's meta presence or how well you know Hanzo's uh, tactics and strategy. If you can't hit the headshots, if you can't do your dash resets and your blade shenanigans, nothing's gonna help anyway. So that's why the first video I chose was not a meta video, but rather this, a combo video. Let's talk about, well, combos. It's a good thing I've been getting my Guilty Gear on lately because I'm all ready to go as far as combos are concerned. Basically, what these are is it's an optimal uh, order to use your skills. Doomfist only has a few different ways you can use his skill in a few specific orders to actually make it make sense and be optimal. So here, let's, uh, let's talk about what I mean. So we're going to start with our bread and butter combo here and I'll just demonstrate it on the Ana real quick without explaining too much, and man, she died fast. She didn't even, we didn't even get to finish the combo before she died. Uh, uh, let's try a Reaper, he's a little bit beefier. All right, here we go again. So charge in, shoot, leap, shoot. He just died again. What? Doomfist just does so much damage, man. Hey, let's go even beefier. There we go, all right, let's take out Azaria with this. And uh, wait, I'll slow it down for you. All right, here we go, charge, shoot, leap, shoot, Uppercut, shoot. Easy. Bam. Dead Zarya in one combo without a wall. Now remember, this is Doomfist's highest damage output combo. You want to do this when you want as much damage as possible and as short of a time frame. So here we go again. Charge, shoot, leap, shoot, uppercut, shoot. Basically, you just shoot in between every move. Charge, leap, uppercut. Charge, leap, uppercut, shoot in between each action. But hey, did you notice that when we showed that off on the Ana, she died like immediately halfway through, we wasted most of our skills. So let's try a different combo for these lower 200 HP heroes because we can, we don't need to do as much damage. So we're gonna leap in and uh, oh, all right, he's dead. Look at that. Now against these lower HP heroes, they tend to be more agile. They tend to be ranged. We want to be able to leap in at them quickly and our uppercut plus E combo to get in fast does exactly that. So here I uppercut to go into the air, jump in, shoot, and then just a halfway charged fist finishes them off very easily. So this is the combo you want to be using on squishies who you already know that you're there. You want to be using the other one on tankier heroes or heroes you just want to put as much damage on as fast as possible, usually from some sort of surprise angle because remember, they can see you charge, it makes it pretty obvious if they're already looking at you. When you're right next to a squishy, it's super easy to do. All you do is shoot, uppercut, shoot, and then you don't even need to charge the right click. You just tap right click and they die. So to show that off again, that one is by far the easiest. Let's say you're, you're fighting, suddenly you find yourself next to a squishy. You just go shoot, uppercut, shoot, not even a charge right click, just tap it one for one little bit and that's it. Now remember, none of these need a wall either. That's the most important part. Just a couple other quick pointers before we cut this off and I'll do another Doomfist video in uh, probably tomorrow or something. But remember, the way his ammo works, of course, I'm sure you know, is that it's on a charge based system. If you use them all very fast, you quickly run out of ammo. That's why you noticed with all my combos, I was slowly shooting them over the course of the entire engagement. If you go like shoot, uppercut, shoot, charge in, shoot, leap, shoot, you notice that 
I had more ammo over the course of the fight because you're slowly using them up over time instead of just in one big burst. So Doomfist's leap, his E ability, is a bit strange because if you're on the ground with it, it really just kind of, it just, it only goes forward, right? But if you're in the air, you can actually fly up to higher elevations. So notice I will, uh, I'll leap up into the air and I can go up there, even though you could clearly see that it wasn't on the same level, it was going upwards, which is odd. But just note that and uh, you use it to your advantage to get higher places than you might think you should normally be able to get. One last thing, so recently on the PTR, Doomfist was changed so that his charge didn't quite go as far. Notice that I'm stopping at about the 22 meter mark, whereas it used to go to the 30 meter mark. Is this a nerf? No, it's not a nerf. This was a bug fix, not a nerf. It was a bug fix. Here, I'll show you why. Let's charge in, and oh man, I'm at the 40 meter mark. That's way better. Yeah, it's because there's a trick you can do with Doomfist, and really any character, this is built into the mechanics of the game, any character that has a dashy sort of ability, Mercy does this too, you can hold jump during the dash, and afterwards you'll carry your momentum forward in a super jump. So here, let's do it. I'm going to dash, and then hold jump. Bam, super jump, all the way to the 40 meter mark. And uh, well, beforehand, maybe they just didn't take this into account, so you could literally jump forward like 60 meters before with Doomfist Sleep, which was a little insane. So now it's just down to 40 meters with a super jump. However, don't think that the super jump just gets you an extra 15 meters. No, it gets you a lot more. So if we do an uncharged punch here like that, I only go forward like five meters. It's not very far. But if we do it off this ledge with a super jump, let's see what it gets us. Oh my, that's pretty far. That's a whole lot more than just the 15 meters we were getting on the ground. You can also use it to leap over large gaps, like that, no problem. There are a few other nuances to Doomfist's kit, like for example, if you want to quickly dash backwards, you can just uppercut into a ceiling or a corner, and you just dash backwards pretty quickly. But I think that those are more for the future, once players are already pretty decent at Doomfist, making more like a, a, an advanced animation guide and advanced mechanics guide but that's it for now guys i hope you enjoyed i should have a video out tomorrow considering it's already done so that should not be a problem big thanks to everyone who's been supporting me on twitter and discord and youtube and email and everywhere asking hey you know when's the new video i i miss your videos stuff like that because it's been a bit of a rough patch i've been very very busy with all sorts of stuff i kind of lost sight of what I was doing with the channel, and uh, you guys always help me get back on track. It's just so awesome. So huge, huge thanks to you. I hope that you continue supporting me and that I continue to deserve your support by creating content and uh, all that good stuff. But anyway, guys, like I said, I think that's it for this video. I'll see you tomorrow. Never forget to stay positive and have a great day. Peace out.